20 years of preservation is being celebrated by facilitators at the Peter Management Area. The area, which was declared a World Heritage Site in 2004 by UNESCO, has been protected for this period. The site joined others like the pyramids in Egypt, the Taj Mahal in India, and the Colosseum in Rome. Highlighting the journey thus far was Secretary General at the National Commission for UNESCO, Marcia Symphorian Laura, who noted that the PMA has thrived in spite of development pressures within the site. The fact that St. Lucia has consistently met its reporting obligations through the completion of the periodic reporting exercise as required by the World Heritage Convention. The establishment of the PMA Club to educate our youth and encourage their engagement in heritage protection and preservation. The review of the PMA management plan to incorporate measures to mitigate the impact of climate change on the site. However, these accomplishments have been punctuated by a number of challenges, most notably the challenges related to the development pressures within the site. Indeed, our inability to find the right balance between protection and preservation on one hand and sustainable development, on the other hand, remains a major source of concern and a potential threat to the site's status. MP for Sufre Honorable Emma Hippolit indicated that the government is committed to protecting this national symbol. Our little country, St. Lucia, is a pearl of rare beauty. And our pitons, our singular pride of breathtaking beauty, that is our national identity. There is nowhere in the world that you go where St. Lucian, when we see our Twin Peak, um, you know, the pride that it, it gives. And I, I can tell you that as somebody who has lived overseas, who have traveled, and we have to do a lot more to control and protect the use of our, of this national pride. Because sometimes we see it being used by all and sundry. And as a government, I can tell you just last week in the cabinet, we started looking at national symbols. And this piton is starting to get the attention it deserves. The parliamentary representative went on to underscore the importance of championing sustainable causes to protect not only the PMA, but the environment at large. As stewards of this planet, it is our duty to promote sustainable development and protect our designated World Heritage Sites, which as we've said is the entire PME. We must adopt sustainable practices in our daily lives, in our businesses, in our governments. We must prioritize sustainability. This includes reducing our carbon footprint, using resources more efficiently, and supporting sustainable products and services. In order to support conservation efforts, we must support initiatives aimed at preserving our World Heritage Site, whether through funding, volunteer work, or advocacy. For Choice News Now, I am Quinn Sergis.